Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from Higher Ground in Buford, joined by my good friend and owner, Tim Lovett. Hey, Tim. Hey, Karen. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. We survived Irma. Just barely, but we survived. <gasps> oh, yeah. even Hobie says so, too. We survived, yeah. <laughs> So yes, we're, we're on the heels of Irma. We just had Stephen Murray here who was updating us on how well um, the city did and we all fared relatively well considering um, how bad it could have been for everybody up the East Coast. Um, obviously our hopes and prayers go to those people who um, haven't had it so lucky. Yes. Um, but we know that um, we're doing pretty well here and that you actually had a little bit of fun um, with Irma. We did, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Like you said, we were very lucky, no damage to the store or at home. I think we lost power for 30 minutes. I know some people are probably saying that's not fair. Fair, right. I know some, <laughs> you may be one that still doesn't no, have No, I, I, I had about 24 hours, so the refrigerator definitely had to be emptied. But I do know of some people, as we talk now, that have been without power for several days. So yeah. obviously, um, I know that the YMCA and other places have opened up their facilities in order for people who need a hot shower and some place to go um, in order to make sure that everyone in our community gets what they need. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. So we did go out and do some exploring during the, uh, it wasn't really the eye, but we saw a calm spot in the storm mm -hmm. and it kind of quit raining. So we decided to go downtown and take some paddle boards and, and do a little investigating while the water was, the high tide was very high. And, right. and we did a little paddling through the waterfront park and uh, made our way down into Hemingways, which was also in about a foot of water. And right, I know, and I know we're <laughs> going to show the viewers um, what Hemingways looked like during Irma, but yeah. obviously you made the most of it um, with all of your equipment and all of your um, expertise. So um, it's times like that when we know that everybody can have a little fun, but be safe. Be safe, absolutely. Be we safe. Were very careful. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. To, I'm glad to hear Don't that. Don't get any crazy ideas. ideas right? Yeah. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> But you guys have a lot of great stuff coming up. I mean, it's now almost the middle of September. We know that the Port Royal Paddle Battle, and Port I said that Royal right. Paddle Battle, that's right. It's <laughs> coming up on September the 23rd, so yes. a couple Saturdays from now. Um, and that's to benefit um, the Port Royal um, Sound Foundation. Correct. And the event is going to launch from there as well, correct? We are. We will launch uh, from the venue there um, on Lemon Island. Mm -hmm. um, it is. We have a three and a half mile paddle or a seven mile paddle, depending on how uh, how you're feeling that day. How energetic you are that how day. Energetic. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. You can paddle whatever you have: paddleboard, kayak, um, rowboat, uh, hobies, whatever. Wherever you, you can paddle, you, you can, can enter paddle, it. You can enter it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, what time? Uh, race starts at 10 a.m. So you want to actually register ahead of time online. Um, paddle Guru. Dot com you can get registered there will be no race day registration so okay people need to know that they need to be registered prior yes. to showing up and with their gear and they'll be launching there at the lemon island um, marina yep. right right down or next to the uh, the port royal sound yep. foundation there's awesome. a landing right there um so. any festivities afterwards once the um event concludes uh, it's always a good time afterwards we kind of hang out and have um some refreshments and do awards and all that stuff so it'll awesome. be a good, a good, time. good fun so mm -hmm. just Remember, people need to register before the 23rd, cannot register the day of the event. Correct. Um, all to benefit um, the wonderful Port Royal Sound Foundation, um, place that we all love yes. here in Buford, in the surrounding area. So obviously one of the biggest things that's going on here at Higher Ground is that you guys are moving. Yes, we can't wait to get in our new location right on Factory Creek, um, right in front of Dockside Restaurant. Incredible so. access to the water. It's yes. going to be wonderful for be all of you. Right by the water, new space, a little more visibility on the road there. So we're excited. We have started our moving sale now. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask. So tell me what's going yeah, on. Yeah, we, we don't want to have to move all this stuff over there. So we're going to cut down on our inventory. Mm -hmm. So we've got great deals on kayaks and paddleboards and whatever you're looking for. We're still unloading some spring and summer merchandise and have fall stuff coming in daily now. So it's, we're just making the swing and lightening the load. Lightening the load, as of course. We move over the bridge. Yeah, well, just, I mean, just think about the amazing access. You know, anybody who has um, rented from you before or mm -hmm. taken one of your tours um, knows that you're constantly transporting um, paddle boards or kayaks from this location across the river um, to be able, be able to launch there on the Ladies Island Marina. So um, just what a great opportunity for you um, and your business yes. and for everybody who loves um, to be out in the water. All those water enthusiasts will certainly make it um, a lot easier for them. Um, and for some people who may just be ready to step a, you know, dunk, dunk a toe in the water yes. that have been sort of a little hesitant, um, mm -hmm. give them a little bit of a push to um, come check you out. Yes, that location is going to make all of that so much easier. You know, it's a little, pretty seamless as far as having to transport merchandise or, or boards or boats and make it easy for everybody. 
Excellent. So we want everyone to come to higher ground. We want to check out what the sales are between now and the time you guys start to move. And so let's just talk a little bit about that date. You really would like to be out of this space about end of October and new into and settled into the new space around November Our 1st? Our goal is by November 1st to be in the new spot. So that's okay. if all goes well, that's, that's what's going to happen. Okay. So we don't want to hold you to any hard deadlines. We know that these things can be a little fluid, mm -hmm. but that's generally the time frame that you're looking for. Yes, and be expecting the call uh, when we get ready to move. You know, we're going to need lots of help. Yes, so. that's right. So any of you who have you know, benefited from Tim's generosity, have <laughs> been out on the water with him, you know, come and lend a hand and help get all this stuff moved, definitely. That good, yeah. And then, you know, as we um, move into the fall, any other events that, that may be coming up as we get, um, get into the fall? Oh, Lord, what do we have coming up? Um, the That's usual, we got Thanksgiving and Christmas will be our next big push. Um, I'm sure we have a race in there somewhere in the mix. I think uh, Paddle Fest. Uh, I don't know if we've announced a date yet for that, but that's okay. usually in November sometime. That will be coming so. up? Mm -hmm. Awesome. You know, and hopefully hopefully we'll be able to um, celebrate Christmas here in Buford down on the waterfront park and maybe do a little more, um, have you guys out in the water with all of your displays yeah. as you have in the past. The boat parade. The boat parade, uh -huh. yeah. Excellent. Well, as you know, we love being here and having you be um, our host for um, North of the Broad, and we look forward to our new digs as well. Thank you. All right. That wraps up this edition of North of the Broad. Hope to see you next time.